why it's this time. No, Jim. You know that I always prefer the white. Why? Why don't you like the blacks? Nothing. It is just because I like the color white. So you don't like the color black at all? No, Jim. It's just that I like white more than black. Oh, then what about the color of people's hair? And most have black pupils. Come on, Jim. That's different. We are talking about a game here. So, why do you like white so much? Hmm. Maybe white is the color of angels. Oh, all right. You take white then. Hey, hold on. Do you know who is the chief of angels? Hmm. I think the chief angel is called the archangel. What's his name? His name is Michael the archangel. Good morning, children. Good morning, uncle. Hello, Jim and Joanne. What was the discussion on Michael the archangel? Uncle, we were discussing about the angels when you walked in. Uncle, I have a doubt. If Michael was leading the angels, then who was leading the devils? Ha ha! That should be the chief of devils, Lucifer. Uncle, Lucifer always loses. Is that why he got that name? Ha ha! Maybe I don't know. Would you want to listen to the story of Michael the archangel? Yes. The story I'm going to tell is from the book of Revelations. All right, now listen carefully. Once there was a fierce battle in the heavens. The army of devils was headed by a dragon with seven heads and ten horns. The dragon and the army were attacking the heavens. And that was when Saint Michael arrived with an army of angels. Come on, my regiment! Surround the dragon and his army. Yes, Mikhail, the archangel. The dragon was blowing fire on the angels and their army, and the dragon shouted to his army. Listen, everyone! I will blow fire on them from my belly. Be prepared. And when they fall down, you must hit them with your spears. Attack! In the meantime, Michael the archangel flew on top of the dragon and chopped off six heads of the dragon. Ah! <laughs> Did you see that? Do you know why I left just one head alone? It's so that. You can bow down before the Lord after your defeat. You stupid fool! My one head is equal to ten of yours. You are not going to defeat my army. Huh? How dare you challenge the Lord your God? I am in charge of guarding the heavens. I am also blessed with the power of God. Let's judge by the deeds, Mikhail. Victory will be to the strongest. No, victory will be for the side enjoying Lord's favor. Michael got really angry when the dragon challenged his god, so he went ahead and struck the dragon down. Ah! Glory and praise to Lord, the protector of heaven and earth. Rejoice, heaven. And its dwellers, the devil, and his regiment, has been thrown away. This is a quick break to make an appeal to our viewers who watch and learn from our videos. We have been making one new video every week for the last three years. Being a team of very few people, this is such a huge feat for us. We were able to produce these videos using the revenue generated from YouTube and by the support of our kind-hearted viewers via Patreon and PayPal donations. The last few months had been really tough for us. There was a significant decline in YouTube revenues. The drop is almost 50% compared to last year. Here is our appeal. If you think you and your kids learn something from our videos or benefit in any kind, then please support us by making a one-time donation through PayPal or become a supporter on Patreon. Your support will go a long way in keeping up with the productions 
and bringing the amazing stories of saints to life. Remember, every small contribution helps. It can be as low as $2, the price of your next coffee. Support us to keep making more videos. God bless you. Oh, that was indeed a good fight. Yes, Uncle, that was a good story. Children, this is how John had described the fight between Satan and Michael the Archangel. Isn't the Archangel the patron saint of police? The Archangel is the patron saint of not only the police and the military, but that of grocers, mariners, and sick people as well. But Uncle, why the sick people? The early Christians considered the Archangel as a healer. Hmm, what are the roles of the Archangel, Uncle? The Catholic Church assigns four primary roles for the Archangel. Of course, the primary role is that of the leader of the army of God. That is the reason he is called the Archangel, isn't it? Yes, Joanne. Have you seen the Archangel's images with a balance in his hand? Balance? Should it not be a sword, Uncle? Yeah, but in some drawings you can find him holding a balance. Uncle, what does this balance mean? That's because of his second role. His second role is to weigh the souls in a perfectly balanced scale. He weighs based on the virtues and evilness. Oh, that really makes sense. Being a warrior against the devils, he should be the best judge on the degree of virtue. But does he not assist the people in getting rid of evil ways? Yes, Joanne, that is his third role. Before death, he gives a chance for the people to redeem. He is called the Angel of Death. He is the one who carries all departed souls to heaven. Then what is his fourth role, uncle? His fourth role is the guardian of the church. He was considered as the guardian of Israel in the Old Testament, and now he is the principal guardian of the church. Uncle, can you tell us how he guarded Israel? Of course. Now listen to this story of where Michael appeared before Daniel. Daniel in Babylon? Yes, Jim. You know that Daniel had the ability to interpret dreams. He could see visions about the future of Israel and the empires around the world. One day, Daniel was standing on the banks of the river Tigris. An angel appeared before him, and in his shock, Daniel fell to the ground. What? Huh? Ah! Daniel, get up. I have been sent to you in response to your prayers to God. But I have been praying for 21 days now. I know it. I was sent to meet you on the first day itself. But the Prince of Persia detained me. Then how did you manage to reach here? God sent Mikhail, the Archangel, for my help. And he helped me from the Prince of Persia. I. I have come to explain to you what will happen to your people in the future. I will return to Persia to fight against the prince. No one else will help me except Mikhail, the Archangel. Fierce battle will continue between the King of North and the King of South. Egypt will perish. At that time, Mikhail, the Archangel, who protects your people, will arise. Huh? What will happen to Israel then? Everyone whose name is written in the Book of Truth will be delivered. Everything that the angel foretold had happened, and it was Michael the Archangel who helped them win the war. Uncle, did the Archangel appear to anyone in the modern church? Yes, Joanne. The Archangel appeared when a devastating plague attacked Rome in the early 6th century. Did he protect the people from this epidemic? Yes, the Archangel appeared with his sword over a tomb of Hadrian in Rome. Pope Gregory I asked the people to pray to the Archangel to protect Rome. After the plague ended, the tomb of Hadrian was renamed as the Castle of the Holy Angel after Michael the Archangel. Uncle, I have heard about the chaplet of Saint Michael. Can you please explain to me? Uncle, what does chaplet stand for? The verbal meaning of chaplet is a string of 55 beads for counting prayers. When did this devotional practice begin in the church? In 1751, a Portuguese nun 
a servant of God, Sister Antonio had a revelation of the Archangel. The Archangel told the nun that God is to be glorified by praying the nine special invocations. This has now become the famous Chaplet of St. Michael. Do you want to know the nine invocations which the Archangel revealed to be pleasing God? Yes, tell us, Uncle. Wait a second, let me grab a pen and paper. Haha, <laughs> go ahead. Alright, Uncle, please tell us. Hmm. The first invocation is to burn with the fire of perfect charity. Second is to leave the ways of sin. Third is to fill the hearts with a spirit of humility. The fourth is to control the senses to overcome unruly passions. Fifth is to preserve souls from evil and falling into temptation. Six is to protect our souls against snares and the temptation of the devil. The seventh one is to fill the souls with the true spirit of obedience. Eighth one is to have perseverance in faith to attain the glory of heaven. And the last one is to protect the mortal life and the heavenly life to come. That was wonderful, Uncle! Children, do you know what Saint Michael promised to the people who practice this devotion? Mm, will the Archangel guard and protect them? You are absolutely right, Joanne. When the people who practice this devotion approach the altar, they will be escorted by the nine choirs of angels. Wow! That would be a great experience, right? To be escorted by the angels. Oh, Uncle, we are going to start practicing the chaplet of St. Michael from now on. Very good, children. The Archangel will definitely guard and guide you. Thank you, Uncle, for the wonderful story of the Archangel. Okay, bye children. Bye uncle.